Roger Green was the fourth born of 12 children, he was run over by a train and decapitated, close to Ealing Station in London, whilst going to a football match in Reading in 1965. Malcolm Green was the fifth born, and was probably deeply affected by the death of his brother. Various news reports over the year have stated that Malcolm was 12 years old at the time of his brother's death, this is incorrect, he was actuality 20 years old when his brother died in 1965. He also did not witness the incident as he was in Cardiff where the family lived. As an adult Green got a job in a slaughterhouse, before leaving to work in the docks in Cardiff as a crane driver. He got married at age 21, and at the time of the first murder, his wife was in a local hospital after suffering a miscarriage. Monday 21 June 1971, after leaving a nightclub, and after bumping into a woman, Green brutally attacked 41-year-old prostitute Glennis Johnson on waste ground near the docks in Cardiff. Green slashed her throat with a broken bottle, then called the police saying, have you found the body yet? There will be four more. This is the Ripper. Those calls were then traced to the British Steel Corporation's East Moors Works where Green worked. He had gone to the docks where he worked to shower, and change and wash his blood-stained clothes. Glennis Johnson's half-clothed body was subsequently found hidden face down, under a car on some waste ground off of Wharf Street in Cardiff near the docks, Green had slashed her throat, causing a five-inch wound and then had proceeded to cut other parts of her body. She had been cut up with a jagged bit of broken glass, her throat was so badly slashed the head had nearly been decapitated. When arrested, Green immediately confessed before later retracting his statement, calling police barefaced liars. In his confession, he told detectives, I don't know how I done it. All I had was a comb and a shilling. The next thing I knew I was walking home smothered in blood. I know I did it. Only months earlier, he had told his wife he wondered what it was like to kill somebody. When the police went to Malcolm Green's flat on the Coed Wygors estate in Lenederin, where he lived with his wife, they found a dummy in the corner of a room made out of rolled up carpet and dressed in a shirt and coat, with a knife embedded in its chest and with a red substance staining the area of the stab point. The 5th of November 1971, Green was jailed for life at Cardiff Assizes, with a minimum 25 years prison term, for the murder of 41-year-old prostitute Glennis Johnson. October 1989, Green was released from Layhill Open Prison near Bristol, after serving 18 years of his 25-year sentence, a psychiatrist claiming he was safe for release. On release he moved to Bristol, and made friends with a young New Zealand tourist, Clive Tully. The 11th of March 1990, Tully, originally from New Zealand was touring the world, and stopping off in parts to find work to fund his travels. Tully had recently been on holiday in Spain and Portugal, and turned up at Green's house with no money. The 19th of March 1990, Green attacked friend Clive with a hammer, and dismembered his body. Green cut up the body in quite precise bits, then leaving bits of body in bags scattered along rural roads in South Wales. The killing became known as the body in the bags killings. The 22nd of March 1992 Holdalls were spotted in a lay-by by on the A467 near Rogerstone, Newport, by a school teacher, leading police to search them. Inside was found the dismembered upper arms, legs and torso of a person, all body parts had been individually wrapped in plastic and then sealed with sellotape. The 26th of March 1990, four days later, a young farmer some 15 miles away at St. Bride's, Wentlug, found what looked like a football-shaped object wrapped in a red plastic bag. When he put his hand inside it, he felt something that appeared to be a nose. Close by was was a white plastic bag containing two neatly amputated hands. The remains were only identified after a newspaper graphic artist produced a computer-enhanced photograph of the victim. Police then discovered the actual murder scene when they went to Mr. Tully's flat and found blood stains on the stairs and under the bed. Green's fingerprints were found in the blood. Green had left a trail of forensic evidence, including leaving his fingerprints on the bags containing the body parts. The 30th of March 1990, Green was arrested while at his new girlfriend's house in the Fish Ponds area of Bristol at 11.25pm.
He confirmed he knew Mr. Tully but denied any involvement in the death. October and November 1991, at Bristol Crown Court, after a seven-day trial the jury reached a unanimous verdict of guilty. Green was sentenced to life imprisonment. As he was taken down, Green shouted at the jury, you are wrong. The Home Secretary added Green to the list of prisoners on a whole life tariff, never to be considered for parole. Thank you for watching. Murder UK is a website dedicated to giving the facts about murders and serial killers within the UK. Please consider subscribing and press that bell icon to be notified when we update new videos. Thank you.